Welcome everyone to the Uni Talent Positive Vibes Music Project 2020. Um, we want to thank our funders for allowing this project to go ahead. We're excited about this one. Um, those who have exclusively joined this project, we thank you for joining. It's amazing to have you on board. Um, my name's Chris. I'm the facilitator of the project. Um, you've got Michael and Russell will be supporting this as well. Um, we've called this Positive Vibes because of the times that we're in. We're in a pandemic. It's a coronavirus. People are locked down in their homes. And, and many people are listening to negative stuff online. YouTube, um, Instagram, you name it. People are listening to negative stuff. So we was inspired to get a positive message out there by young people, for young people. And we're hoping to reach the whole country with this right now. Um, we're hoping that once this project is complete, we can get many thousands of people behind it. Loads of people supporting it. Um, and yeah, we're going to get into it. We've got a workshop every week going out on Wednesday. Um, we've got our core group of 10 young people joining in this group. Hopefully we can get more as well. That'd be great. And yeah, we just want to see a great project thrive and, and, and just blow up. So we've called this one Positive Vibes 1. This is the music production workshop. Um, we're calling it Let's Make It Happen, the introduction. Um, so just before we get into it, I want to give you an introduction about who we are. Um, and what we do, where we was founded, what is our values. Unique Talent, CIC, this is the organisation running the programme. We're based in Merton. Um, we cover South London. And we work with young people who are at risk of gang violence, serious youth violence. We also work with adults who are facing violence. Um, and our aim is to make safer communities, to give people opportunities that will bless their life. And, and just to also change society for the better. Um, our hashtag, our slogan is enough is enough. And right now, we're asking everyone to stay safe and come out of this pandemic in a positive manner as well. So I'm going to get straight into it. I won't hold you on too longer. Um, this one's called Let's Make It Happen, the introduction. The project is Positive Vibes. And this is a music project where we're going to create positive vibes and shock the nation with wonderful words, wonderful vibes, wonderful music, and just be a blessing to people's lives as well. So what are the outcomes? We want you to understand the project and what we're about. We want you to under, and understand the impact of ne negative music in our society. We want you to understand why we need positive music in our society. We want you to also understand the importance of your role and what you can do to, to, to create a positive vibe, to, to bring positivity to your community as well. We want to discuss music, um, where young people come from, safety, all these different things and we're going to link it into some of the things that are happening within our communities at the moment such as gangs knife crime all the diff all the difficult stuff that's happening and all the stuff that's sad to see on the news but sadly it is linked to music so we want to talk about that as well so just want to kick off this you know a little icebreaker anyone who you know the gender is all of us have made mistakes so don't be scared to put your hand up this even applies to adults wherever you're from yeah if this relates to you put your hand up be honest um, and, and just reflect on it. We're going to talk about it as we go through as well. All right. So this is the introductory session. We're going to give a bit of background about why we're doing this, what is going on in society right now, and what is causing problems to our communities. And we want to get you directly involved. You'll be blessed by this. You will have an increased knowledge. You will learn from this. You'll become a more professional. You'll be a better person. You'll be more musically talented when you finish this project. And we'll turn your music into something professional as well. So, if you've got children, just flick your hand up, just reflect on that, yeah? Um, if you've made a mistake in life, raise your hand. Um, I'm putting my hand up right now. <laughs> if you've said a lie before, raise your hand as well. That's an interesting one there as well. Um, if you've broken the law, raise your hand. Um, if you've been peer pressured to do something that you did not want to do, put your hand up. Now, don't lie to yourself. <laughs> uh, you could be honest with yourself right now. Um, if you've had a fight, in the past, put your hand up. If you've kept a secret from someone you love, your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, put your hand up. If you've had road rage, if you're a driver, maybe this might be a little bit difficult for some of you guys, but maybe you've been in a car where there's been road rage. If you can relate to that, put your hand up. Now, the reason why I've put them all out there is because most of us have made a mistake in life. You know, all of us have made mistakes. No matter where you're from, no matter how professional you are, I can guarantee you every time I put this, this, these statements up in a room, every single person will have an opportunity to put their hand up. Now, are we going to be defined by our mistakes, the negativity, or are we going to overcome these mistakes that we've made? Yeah, 
and be positive with what we've done. Now, not all of this, those things in there are negatives, um, but the negatives I'm dwelling on right now because this is a positive vibes project. If you've done something negative in your life, are you going to dwell on that and stick to that or are you going to overcome that and be a positive person? Now, this project wants to encourage you, wants to urge you to do something positive with your life, to do something positive with your talents, to do something positive with your life experiences. Whatever the, the situation is, how bad it is, we want to encourage you to do something positive with your life. Now, I can relate to this. I made mistakes in my life. Mistakes where I thought there was no coming back. Mistakes where there was no hope. And when I'm talking about no hope, I'm talking about sitting behind four walls in a prison with no support, no family, no one there, all on your own, having to ride a long time on your own. And I thought there was no hope. But I want to tell you now with planning, with determination, with support from positive people, positive, you know, you can overcome these things. And, and I have to give thanks to my family. I have to give thanks to God because these people stuck by me during the difficult times. And you can ride through it. You can overcome the hardship that you're facing. And we can overcome the current times that we're facing. So just keep your head up. Keep tuned into this positive movement. Put comments, you know, get tuned in, phone us, keep the conversation going because we will do something positive with our lives and our journeys. Rest in peace, lost soldiers. Rest in peace, people have lost their lives over the past 10 years. We, we, we put this message, this, this picture out here right now to remember those who have lost their lives. We want to pray for their families. We want to pray for their loved ones. And we want to dedicate their pro this project to these people that have lost their lives because of knife crime, because of violence, because of domestic violence. No matter what it is, we, are, we want to show our respects to people that have lost their lives across the UK. In particular, my heart goes out to those who are young, those who have not even been able to live their life, who have lost their lives at such a young age because of you know, silly reasons, because someone's looked at you funny. You know, no matter what it is, there's so many different things that... that can cause someone to lose their life and we just want to send our, our, our message and thoughts out to those that have lost loved ones because of you know knife crime because of gangs and in most times we don't even know what the reason behind someone stabbing someone is so our thoughts our prayers our respect goes out to those who've lost their lives the loved ones those behind the scenes those who we don't see are going through heartaches right now rest in peace this project is for you and we hope that this positive message will help people overcome negative gangs, violence, where people can put down the knife, put down the gun, you know, speak to your rivals, have a conversation, shake hands, and no longer pursue that person that you hate. Forgive, forget. These are the things that we want to promote. And you'll be hearing this in the project outcomes at the end, which is going to be a musical album that's going to reach thousands. So why are so many people dying? You know, we have very, very little blood in our body. If you can only imagine two Coke bottles of blood in our body. If someone's stabbed in a main artery and we have those running throughout our body, the chances of blood pouring out in very, very quick time is high. Now, you think about it. If you open a bottle of pop or fizzy cans or whatever it is, or Coca-Cola, and you pour that out, how long will it take before that is, is emptied? You can empty two Coke bottles within a minute. Now, blood pumping out of arteries or out of, out of our veins within our body, it can be just as quick and it, it can happen within quick timing. Yeah. How long on average does it take for an ambulance to come and arrive at the scene of an incident in London? If I phoned an ambulance right now, how long would it take for them to come to a scene where someone's been stabbed? Now, just bear in mind, there's been cases where in London people have been stabbed and they have to wait for police to come first to make the scene safe. So that's double whammy, you've got to wait for police and then you've got to wait for ambulance. That's more time taken and that's more ch that's less chances of someone surviving a, a stabbing. That takes an average about 10 to 15 minutes and that's me being generous to the, lum to the ambulance services across the UK. How many people know someone who's first aid qualified, young people in particular? Now, on average, I would say one in 10. Young people know what it takes to do proper first aid, qualified first aid. That's going to really, really do make a difference to someone's lives. And hopefully we can improve that figure as well. You know, but it's very low, maybe one or two uh, in, 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 in most cases. And police need to come to the scene to make it safe. Now, bearing all that in mind, guys, how long do you have after someone is stabbed before they die? What do you reckon? Have a little think about it. Yeah. 
I can tell you now the answer is five minutes, yeah? Five minutes on average before someone dies. Now, bear in mind, you got blood pouring out of your body fast, quick succession. Remember I said the Coke bottles, let's go back. You've got two Coke bottles of blood, five litres on average. And if a younger person is less, and that only takes a minute to pour out of the bottle. Now, it's going to be a little bit longer in the body, but it's not going to be long at all. We're talking five minutes, guys. That's not long. And this is why people are dying in our streets. Now, we're going to go into the causes of why people are being killed in our streets. You know, it's very, very simple. And the reason why I'm putting it on there, because the root cause of a lot of this, and I won't say it's the main reason, but the fuel to the fire is music. The fuel to the fire is fatal stab wounds. You know, another thing I mentioned earlier, first aid, people being left to bleed to death. Panic, pushing blood out of the body even quicker. The adrenaline rush, pushing blood out of the body even quicker. And people making silly decisions because of adrenaline running through their body. Leaving their friends behind, not even phoning an ambulance, running off and leaving them to die to death. How traumatising would that be? But I want to talk about music and we'll go on this, we'll talk about this a bit, little bit later as well. But music has a major, major, major key factor in, in why people are dying on our streets. People are inciting violence on, on tracks, on YouTube, on music videos, Vivo, you name it. This and this person, your mum's this, your dad's this, I slept with your girl this, and we'll go into some cases later. Now, there's only so much as humans with our pride how much we can take before we, we blow up and we want to do someone harm. And, and I'm human, I, I know what it takes as well. If someone, if someone said they slept with your mum or slept with your girlfriend or they're going to kick your mum's door in, how, how would you react? And unfortunately, in music videos and music that's been put out there, these are the messages that are antagonising, winding up people. Young people are being wound up through music. It can wind you up. It can hit the soft spots. It can get under your skin and make you want to do things that, that, that makes you get angry. Why am I telling you this? Because I don't want you to fall foul of these things that can make us be prideful, that can make us get angry, that can make us react in a way that's not, that's, where we're not level-headed. So we can overcome these things, if, but we can only overcome these things if we acknowledge what I'm saying right now. We have to acknowledge that music can make us you know, act in a way that's irrational, make us act in a way that's not normal, that's not a normal character, which then leads to someone being stabbed fatally, which then leads to friends being left behind when someone's stabbed in panic and an adrenaline rush. Be mindful of these, what I'm saying, guys. And when someone sends a message or a song upsets you, just ignore it, it's words. We can ignore words. We can choose to ignore it. Yeah, you may look like a little whatever. Yeah, you may look soft. And this is more, more of the reasons why people are being stabbed as well because the pressures to react, the pressures to retaliate and do something about it is heavy. But what I want to tell you today, you need to live to see another day. Don't fall short of your destiny, your future, just because someone's put you under pressure or because someone's going to call you weak or moist or whatever it is. And all these different swear words I won't go into. Yeah? 2018-19, I was shocked. 140 people dead on our streets in London alone. 40,000 people stabbed. You know, horrific numbers, like crazy numbers. For a country like the UK, we shouldn't be seeing these sort of statistics and these numbers. It's, it's sad. It makes me cry. I, 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 I'm fuming inside. I'm, 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 I'm in pain for the people that have lost loved ones. I showed that picture earlier of people who have been stabbed by fatal wounds. You know, hundreds of lives. Hundreds of families feeling the ripple effect of stabbings. It's sad. And what gets me, guys, is those with lifetime injuries are not even mentioned. Those, those who lose limbs, those who have to get their leg cut off or amputated because they've lost blood, too much blood in a certain part of their body, the media don't mention that. This is the danger of being stabbed. This is the danger of being injured. But the media don't mention these ones. We only hear about the deaths, the worst. But those who have to have catheter bags. Catheter bags are for elderly people. You, you have a bag on your chest and when you go to the toilet you don't choose it comes out automatically you'll smell the poo in the bag you'll, sm you'll feel the warmth of the wee you'll be in a room and, and everyone can smell what's going on this is the consequence of being stabbed the media does not mention these sort of consequences it's deep 2019 2020 the figures were set to get higher and they did i don't know what 2020 is going to hold i don't know what 2021 is going to hold or 22 but i'm praying I'm hoping that things will get better and everything happens for a reason. And these are some of the statistics across South London. 602 Craden, 187 Merton, 202 Sutton, one as London's safest boroughs. 
Now to think 202 people stabbed in Sutton, and that's one of the safest boroughs. You know, that's crazy. That's sad. And Kingston, 93. That's too many. In a country like the UK, we should not be seeing any deaths from knife crime. You know, we've got too many opportunities and we're living in a safe society where people should feel safe, people should feel comfortable and not have to worry about these statistics that are in front of us right now. We are at all-time high in terms of knife crime. 2011, when we had the riots, there was over 30,000 stabbings. And then we're back in 2018, 19, 20, 21. And we're back at 40,000, higher than when we was in 2011. I'm sick to see these results. But guys... This is why we're here today. We can do something about this. We can put out a positive message through our music, through our talents and influence as many people as possible. We can make a difference through this project and that's why you're here today. That's why I'm showing you these figures because your music, your voice can make a difference to many lives across London. And we can avoid scenes like this on the screen right now. This is a traumatic, a horrific and nasty scene for any young person to go through. This is not normal. And I do not wish this upon my worst enemy. No one should have to go through scenes like this. Nobody. Let alone deaths. And to think last year, 40,000 people had to go through similar scenes. Just imagine. Mistaken identity. Stabbed by my own knife. Wrong place, wrong time, bro. I went to stab, but got stabbed, innit? Chased down, bro, and I lost hope, I'm not gonna lie. I was begging for my life, Chris. I was begging for my life, bro. You know, these are words that we hear as mentors, as coaches, and words we've even heard ourselves as, uh, through our own experience every day. And I do not wish for any young person to have to go through this. This is why we're doing this today. I don't want you to say that you was, you was stabbed by a mistaken identity. You know, and this is happening time and time again. You know, we do look alike, some people. And it's easy with a hat on or a hood on to be, to be mistaken. Stabbed by my own weapon. So you carried a weapon, you dropped it because your hand was shaky and you got stabbed by your own knife. And this is why I encourage people don't carry knives in the first place. As soon as I put down my knife and, stopped and decided to stop carrying knives, I would either avoid situations or wouldn't find myself in risky situations. It was just a different mentality. Some, for some reason, having a knife can make you feel like you're Superman and you act in a different way, it makes you act strange, different, out of character. So my advice is don't even carry a knife. You'll end up running, you'll end up avoiding certain situations, and you'll end up acting in your own right character, which means you'll, you'll avoid, you'll put yourself in low risk situations. Wrong place, wrong time. Be careful of who you're circling with. Be careful of where your friends are taking you to. Don't be drawn out, don't be put in circles where you don't want to be. And avoid these statements in front of you. Crepton Cronan, Croydon boys. Now I rate these boys because they went through their own difficulties. I encourage you watch the video. This is my story. My brother here, his mum, his dad were victims of knife crime because of his actions. And I'll tell you the story in summary. You know, these guys, similar to what I said earlier, were sending messages and upsetting people through their words, and through, through, through their videos and music and things that were putting out on social media. And as a consequence, after studio one day, Conan was followed home. The guy on the right. And when he was followed home, the guy ran into his house, kicked off his mum's door. His dad tried to save the day and dad got shot in his house and died on the scene. This is as a consequence of his gang involvement. This is a consequence of him being involved with certain things. And this is the power of music. This is the power. If you want to spread neg negativity, the consequence will loop back round. I'm telling you, it can come and bite you in your ass. So I'm encouraging you, let's put out a positive message. Let's do something positive with the vibes. And, and unfortunately, you know, this guy and his mum have to live with this for the rest of their life, that traumatic experience of seeing their father die, husband die in the house. And I feel it for them, it's sad. Now, when you listen to the, to the, to, to the tune, this is my story, he said, thinking to quit music, thinking to go and do something stupid. This is the ultimatum way he could have got drawn out. He could have had friends on the left-hand side saying, yo, bro, you need to ride out and do something about this. Don't let man shoot your house and shoot this. You need to retaliate. Or you can have people on the other side saying, bro, you know what? Make a legacy for your, your, your daddy died, Carl. Make a legacy. Go and do something positive. 
And my respect to Crept, Conan, they both stuck to their guns and they, they dropped all the hype. They dropped it all and they went in and done something positive about it. They put out pos more positive music. I'm not going to lie, some of the music's still a bit cruddy <laughs> and they can still put out positive music. And this is something I want to do as well. I want to put out a message and a campaign to all professional music artists, you know, because every single music artist has a responsibility and they have a responsibility to put out proper music, proper music that's going to bless children, you know, music that their children can listen to, yeah? Music that's going to influence their children in the right way, their nephews, their nieces, their uncles. And I, I, I put the same challenge to you listening right now. The music you're putting out or the messages you're putting out, would you want your mum to listen to that? Can your grandma listen to that? Can your uncle, your auntie, can your baby sister listen to that? Can your niece or your nephew listen to that? And if the answer is no, think about your music. It's not right. Yeah. And let's, let's be real. Is that music a true reflection of who you are and where you want to be as a father or as a sibling or as a brother or cousin? Yeah. What is your values? Where do you want to go with your music? Do you want to put out negative music that's going to give you a negative ne legacy? Or do you want to put out stuff that's going to be productive? Now, there's ways you can talk about your experience and what you're seeing. But there's no reason to talk about clap nine and clap this down and shoot this man and I've got the biggest gun. It's nonsense. It don't make no sense. And I challenge anyone, anyone who wants to have a conversation about it, let's talk. My phone number's on the end of the screen. I'm willing to have a conversation and a, and a nice little debate about the music you're putting out and the music that's, that's been putting out there, Snapchat, YouTube, wherever it is. We have to put out pos positive music. And I challenge any negative music artist right now that's putting out ne negative music and negative stuff on social media, fix yourself up because you're having an influence. I'm not saying it's the, the, it's the main influence and the main factor to why people are carrying knives and gangs. It's something deeper and that's a whole different subject. But what I'm saying is it's fuel to the fire. It adds, it sparks, it antagonizes, it pressures, it, it, it makes people retaliate, it, it triggers pride. It's, it's dangerous. Yeah, and these big artists, I'm calling names out now, Stormzy's, the Crepton Conans, the Wileys, whoever you are in the UK, Lethal Bizzles, whoever you are in the UK, and I'm calling on UK artists right now, we've got to up our game with our music. Yeah, I'm not saying we have to talk about soft stuff and uh, pretty um, flowers and stuff like that. No, talk about what you've been through. But don't promote violence. Don't promote you got guns. Don't promote you got this and you got that. Because we're, listen, the UK is soft anyhow. We're not America. We're not America. And I, I, I encourage the same message to young people listening to this right now. You know, put out something that's real. Yeah, put it out that's real. But don't incite violence. Think about your siblings. Think about the day when you're going to become an adult and a parent yourself and how that's going to have an influence on you. What message are you putting out to have an influence on people? And what legacy are you creating for yourself? That's enough of me ranting. I'm passionate about it anyhow. And I'm going to practice what I'm talking. I'm going to put out what I'm talking. You're going to hear the album Positive Vibes by Unique Talent, by our young people. For our young people, it's going to be positive. It's not going to be wishy-washy. It's not going to be about flowers and yellow ceilings and yellow skies and blue skies. We're going to make it real about what we're experiencing, the hardship we're facing, how we're feeling, the reason why we carry weapons, the reason why we want to retaliate, pride, some real gritty topics, but not inciting violence. That's what's next. And we're going to, we've got a group of 10 kids. We're going to bring them together. They're going to create, we're going to create an album. We're going to teach them how to create an album. We're going to teach them how to monetize their, 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 their music, how to turn their music into a business how to do positive things with their, with, their, with their music as well. And we're going to do this professionally. We're going to do this properly. We're going to turn this into a proper album. We're going to create proper artwork. We're going to create strategies. We've got marketing people behind us. And we are going to create something big. And with this, we want to reach thousands. With this, we want to make a difference to hundreds of young kids' lives. Loads of young kids look up to music. And we want to influence them in the most positive way possible. And we want to make a difference to their lives. There's so many kids who are influenced by big artists, but the big artists are giving them, you know, crap in their ears, to be honest. And we want to replace that with something positive. And hopefully if it blows up, you know, with this credibility and this realness, we can do something real positive and make a continuation of this and blow it up big. So I just want to thank you very much for listening. If you've got any questions, holler at us. Give us, get in contact with, with the details in front of you. You've got Twitter there, TW's Twitter, YT's YouTube, IG's Instagram, um, W is our website, E is our email, and the telephone number's there that will come directly through to us. 
get in contact if you've got any questions phone us if you want to have a debate put comments in the in the thing on the, when this goes on youtube um drop us a call we can keep the debate going we've got 10 sessions um that everyone's gonna have access to around music we're gonna, you're gonna love it it's gonna be great it's gonna be educational the positive vibes workshops and program it's gonna be a blessing it's gonna be enriching it's gonna encourage it's gonna challenge be open because we're gonna challenge some of the stuff and and challenge us as well challenge us as well if you think that something's not right and chris you're talking nonsense challenge us we're open to debate but we've got to put out positive vibes now. we've got to put out positive energies because our words are leading to people dying and, it, and like i said it's not i'm not blaming it i'm not like people love to blame the drill music and all these things we're not blaming that we're just saying it's got a role to play yeah and even if we save a hundred lives i want to save a thousand yeah, even if we save a hundred lives through people listening to positive music, credible music, that's an achievement, that's a goal, that's an outcome. Yeah. Um, stay tuned, we're back again every Wednesday. We're meeting, um, we're having these workshops, educational workshops, workshops that are gonna help you to do business with music, workshops that are gonna help you develop your own strategies and your own plans, and, and, and we're gonna start to develop the workshops. At the end of the workshops, we're gonna start putting together some music. So, so just, just start writing your lyrics from now. We've got beats from producers who are working with us, professional producers who are gonna bless us with some wicked music, um, and it's gonna be a great project. Peace.